All right, time for some E fours. Um, pretty sure we were just kind of like taking over the world. Just kind of full, full sent in it. Four wars or something, yeah. Well, this is gonna be in good times. Have you guys seen the um, Elon Musk? remote controlled robot things. Pretty funny reminder that we're, you know, getting closer to the end of the world where robots will take over everyone. Right? Am I crazy? Maybe. Um, just make sure all these dudes are reined in, by the way. Definitely don't want any kind of shenanigans. So the coalition is crazy. It's got Georgia. It's gonna have Poland. It's gonna have. It's not gonna have those guys, which is good. At least. So we can at least go to war down there. If we end up um, locked out of wars from the giant coalition or something, somehow. Some way, somehow. Who knows? Dum, 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 dum. Hold on, my sound is. Oh, whoops. Okay. I want to see Bannis out of the war because I can separate piece them. I can also separate piece these guys out of the war. Up here. You know what would be funny actually? You know the um... The AI videos? That has like, you know, politicians and whatnot playing Minecraft. You see the Tesco one? We're like the British ex prime ministers. Like play Minecraft and they um they change the House of Commons or something into a Tesco. <laughs> that's that's pretty funny to be honest. But imagine you had that, right? With this game. You know, you have England here and they're like being controlled by Boris Johnson's voice or whatever. That'd make a good video, to be honest. Let's see, um, Donald Trump or oh, Donald Trump playing as the Ottomans, Joe Biden playing as like Byzantium or something. We're gonna make the Ottomans great again. And then Joe Biden's just like... Uh, uh, <laughs> Sorry, that's... <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Um, let's not make fun of American politicians. That's mean and uncalled for. They're all doing their best they can. It's not their fault where they were born. <laughs> <laughs> um, not that it's any better um, over here, of course. We were ruled by England, so that's good times. You have our pretend politicians, you know, or pretend Scottish leaders, you know, doing the best they can, but ultimately. They can just be vetoed on everything by England. Sad times. Okay, Crimea's gonna deal with um, Joe Baden down there. And I'm going to deal with the Mamluks down here. A couple more forts to go. Should be able to get um, the 95% or whatever it is pretty soon though. Can't remember. Maybe it's only 90%. 
something like that. Um, war exhaustion is high. That is true. That's a lot of um, blockaded ports and things and besieged home provinces and attrition. Attrition is inevitable because I have to seize the stuff down as quickly as I can. And I'm not doing like, you know, swarm vessel nonsense because honestly, it feels like cheating, to be honest. It feels like. It's not right, is it really? Hmm. This dude is better at the things I want him to be better at right now, but this dude is better at the things I want him to be better at later on. Which is just military points to bust forts down later on. And you know, he's not going to be in power for a while, so whatever's. Should be fine. Probably. Could be. Let's just clean up all of this stuff here, make sure they're not sieging me down. Try and force them to fight against Kara Coinley instead of me. Although weaken in the army might make them lose. I'm sure they'll be fine if sieged, you know, they should peace out of that war soon. I would assume. Finish off Thanos. Got the four really fast actually in Trivisa, it's crazy. We love that, of course. And these cores are coming along nicely as well. Pretty good. Let's deal with the Mamluks here. Should be fine. And the Highlands, whatever. Minus two. Who cares? Easy Ws, regardless. Get out of here, Mamluks. You think you can take me on? Not a chance. Not a chance. I know you guys want like speed four and five, and you have like a different playstyle. You want to like max speed, but pause when you need to or whatever. And I respect it. However, I haven't really played much so for a while. You know, I haven't played much recently. So I do need more careful play, especially doing such a difficult kind of situation and everything. 90%. Oh, that's 90% more screw. Okay, and that gets rid of some more exhaustion. Nice. I do like that. That is quite good. Where are my boats, by the way? Okay, let's try and knock out some dudes from this war soon. My army could be bigger, maybe, but... I'm concerned about the manpowers. It could start dropping really quickly. Still a ways off the next manpower injection. Let's build a few more though. I feel like it kind of needs another army to deal with all this stuff over here. There's too many dudes now. Too many wars at once. It's kind of, um, hmm. But we are probably going to run out of manpower quite soon in these four wars. So, you know, something to think about. Could get mercenaries at some point. Something to consider. Suppose nothing wrong with some mercenaries, except that you lose all the um, manpower button points, professionalism. <laughs> I know what it's called. I remember. I remember how to play this game. Why I'm in so many wars, by the way. Let's start another war. Just kidding. Um. How many guys are... Oh, Chromio's got 8,000. You know, guys want to come up here, yeah. Alright, come on then. Oh, there's another 7,000 waiting. No, oh, you should be fine. Maybe, probably not, but you know. 
let them try their best. I might do like a speed playthrough after I finish this achievement. Because this is quite a hard achievement. I don't want to like, you know, blast through on speed 5 and then fail the achievement or something. I mean, is it really that hard? Probably not really. But, you know, I don't want to have to redo this really, realistically. Not not again, not after the, <laughs> the last one was corrupted. Never again. I want this to be the final run of this one. And then perhaps the next time we'll play some other country, some interest in... Okay, let me get a leader. Some other interesting country and then I can play that one, you know, like maybe I'll do some kind of no pause attempt, like do an easy achievement or, you know, not easy, but you know, easier that I haven't got so far. And the way we'll make it interesting is we'll do like no, like pop-ups don't pause me or whatever. I'm sure you can set that. Turn off all the automatic pausing stuff and make sure I never press you know, it's pause right now, like this. Make sure I never press spacebar. And then I just always let it run on a higher, like, probably speed 4, honestly, because speed 5 is kind of janky. Just saying. Like, it kind of, it's like, almost like laggy, really. Just kind of lags the game. Doesn't really make it faster, just kind of makes it laggier. Could be wrong, I haven't tried it for a while, I suppose. But perhaps we will do something like that. No siege leader, that's nice, thank you very much. Said no one. Alright, we can probably just piece this dude out because Osh is the war leader and I will not be able to separate piece them because I can't take land from them. Unless I make some vessel, which I think they probably hit me too much, really. So I'll just deal with them later on instead. Okay, well that's you know one thousand man paragon. That's good. Okay, my army has returned. Continue the siege progress. Get the boats down there. Forgot about that. Um. These guys can come over here and see. These other guys can go down there. And you. Just siege down Austria proper. Because I might be able to just piece out Austria. So, oh dear. Minus two penalty in the mountains here. And there's loads of guys coming in. Should be fine there, really. Got the morale. Should be chilling with the morale. For sure. Definitely gonna be chilling. Got to think so. Oh, that's nice. Aggressive expansion and unjustified demands. Very, very, very nice. It's quite lucky, actually. That should help a whole bunch. How are these little armies always getting into my land? It's wild, honestly. My um tolerance. I don't want to convert anything, so nice to get less rebels. It's always nice. Silly, can I have everything? Minus one. Okay, we still have to wait on them. Cause I'd like to take that land and then I can peace out Austria. And then with this war, we may not get anything from that war. We may end up just piecing them out, white piece or something. Oh no! On oh, there, lose stability or lose like army tradition twenty is crazy, sir. <sighs> Essentially, I will pay the admin points to keep twenty army tradition. I think it's probably more important overall. 
We're getting siege leaders later on. You come over here. Maybe we'll get Sienna at the war. You guys, please stay here and protect me. Okay, Sally, come on. Don't be Sally, Sally. Don't be a Sally sausage. Yes. And also get rid of your... None that really matters, but... You know, get rid of your core around. My other dude, my other Isla guy, and also be taken by him because he was called in as a vassal originally. Easy W's. Knock down some more war exhaustion. Kind of annoying, but don't want to have like 10,000 rebels in every single province right now. 20,000 stack of rebels is going to be annoying enough. It's definitely going to be coming along at some point. Um, oh. I three leagues. Siege. Do we care about that? Not really. Okay, I'm going to use my diplomat. There. I could just peace out um, some of these wars and deal with the other ones instead. And then we get the chase timers going anyways. Because there's no way I'm going to win all of these wars in like the next five years, you know? So a truce for five years is like just the same in some regards to dealing with the coalition. Could peace out, do with coalition, and then truce will be done, go to war again. Yeah, it might be the play. Just get rid of Austria war right now. Can give it all to Croatia as well, so I don't have to wait for the cores to be done and stuff. So then I can piece out another war and core that personally in the next war. Alright, give me a dude. Sounds like a plan, honestly. Sounds good. Aragon's killing my army. Sounds good. Come on, that 1000 of Croatia is going to save me, surely. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. We got the most important place. We got Vienna. We took it personally. And I took that personally. <laughs> okay, we don't need to seize that down now. Go to Paris, potentially. Because these guys are just going to be running away, I think, probably. Yep. Okay. Try and finish this war as soon as possible down here. So we can free up all these units here to deal with the um the Aragon War. Or I don't know, I might just piece them out. I might just forget about Aragon. I haven't really decided yet. Um Dun, dun, dun. You can just run all the way over here and help me in France. And we'll see you there in Paris. We're finishing these quarters. So you can probably piece up Venice then. Not already. We have 106 reasons for peace. That's a lot of reasons. You could also just 
piece of Aragon by not piecing them out, but I obviously I want to take everything from Venice, so it's obviously considerably more important. Yeah, I mean that's pretty good. It's a big coalition I've got there. That's fine though. It's just gonna be like that now. From this point onwards, it's gonna accept it really. I'll core it. Don't you worry about it. Don't need your alliance anyway. Get out of my face. <laughs> um How do these armies all get over here anyway? <laughs> it's kinda wild. You go here. Hmm. Keep 1000 to keep the siege progress. And then deal with these arm. Oh, that one's gonna wait. That's okay. I'll deal with the one sieging down Alexandria because it's gonna finish probably before me. No, in my luck, really. To deal with France over here as well. Gosh, so many armies everywhere. And you go here. Oh man. Oh dear, oh dear. These wars are like mentally exhausting to be honest with you. Am I the only one who thinks so? Like I have to deal with all these little armies with a small army. All these battles everywhere. All these places to be seized down while also making sure I'm, I'm not being seized down. Well, I mean starting four wars is probably not the way to have an easy time. We didn't ask for an easy time. We asked to play on hard mode, of course. You know, that's what we always wanted. Um, that is a predicament right there. Should be an easy W, right? No, okay. Well, you know, run. These boats can just help the siege in Sienna still, which we will get this time on this turn. Definitely for sure, 100%. Not a doubt in my mind, of course. Albany. That's where we need the units. Let's remove this army. Oh, they're getting seized down by Kara. How are they losing that war that they were winning? But it, why didn't they just peace out while they were winning? Or just, you know, focus on them? Instead of trying to fight me and then losing both wars. <laughs> Classic AI, really. You gotta expect them to be doing things like that all the time. Okay, they're not gonna go into that fort, unfortunate. They didn't fall for my my tricks. Get these guys off of here. Tell them to go do whatever. Nice boat battle, Sienna's done and now we can seize Napoli back again. Get rid of some of that attrition. Split up my guys with the escape button. Boom, boom, boom. Hmm. 
Poland. I finally joined the coalition. Hmm. Sienna, you can be gone from the war, right? Yes. Core. We don't really need to improve relations anymore. So as we could get the um, diplorapted. It's better, really, because you know there's gonna be aggressive expansion. We're not gonna try and make a tech down or whatever. Hundred in general. So definitely be a good one. And also the admiral, six thirty five liters. Who did we get? Excuse me. You will be upgraded. If I can remove you. We got a good leader now. We could put the speedy guy over here, keep him around for a moment, perhaps. Crimea's got a leader. Should be fine, really. Come on, finish the siege over there. I want to change the leader. It's really annoying. Okay, that's the wrong one. down here and then or what we're doing over here by the way being seized down by France and Aragon sounds good to me gosh this, these wars are getting slightly out of hand how does this happen how did we get in such an awkward situation here and how are we not finished with the Mamluk war oh no oh no 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 This was the leader guy I was gonna get rid of, but you know, keep around. Put him over here. Speedy dude. Speedy makes speeder. Hopefully, you'll be able to relieve these sieges soon. Oh no, there's so many dudes over here. What? Let's deal with this one if we can. If they don't finish the siege, it's more important. Aragon, maybe I can just piece them out. Let's white piece the Aragon. I'm gonna war with them again in five years. Cause I have to finish the other wars, really. It's just more important. Get one more leader. Okay. Um. Yes. Right. Hopefully this will be an easy. Okay, then we might not. Okay, we're not gonna win this. <laughs> ah. See, I mean, speed three is just too fast for me, <laughs> cause I'm a potato. So you know, we're gonna you know. Slow things out a little bit until we get used to. I just didn't realize I was at war of Naples. Well, that's annoying. Could maybe finish the France war. How is it only? How do I not get any war score? 
How am I in negative war score? That's wild. Seized under capital. Oh, I can get Aragon out. Yeah, I think I just, you know, like it would be nice to get some of these wars. Take some of the stuff here, of course, obviously, but you know, you get a truce for five years and then we go to war them again anyway. Because I'm not going to finish that war in five years, not even close. So we've got to do these other wars before then, but we have a truce with them now, so they can't join the coalition. Which is the main goal, really, for that war. Main goal is chiefs. Don't look back in anger. Um, get some manpower. Or just do this one and then press the button and then just be done with it because they're all kind of useless. So I don't really care. Let's get rid of the easiest ones to get rid of. With the decision thing later on. Just seize down there. Gosh, this war. Only 60% uh, war scores. Why do I have no army? Have you noticed that? Is this me? Or is my manpower all gone? <laughs> I would do. Let's get rid of more manpower by assaulting this board here. Sounds good to me. It wasn't too costly there. I think it's worth it just to free up these units so I can come and um, use them as soon as I'm done with Naples. Escape, 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 escape. The escape key splitting of armies has struck again. That was the one where I put the zero points on. Oh gosh, I am being seized down in so many locations. Not ideal. But, you know, no real harm being done, really. As long as we don't finish the sieges, we should be fine. Just a lot of war exhaustion, just kind of... It's just dipple points, really, which, you know, is important, so... But, I mean, we're not gonna really bother about the idea grip, to be honest, whatever. Maybe I shouldn't have even bothered with any idea grip. I need all the admin points I can get for air later on for improving stability and also Corrin. Double points for war exhaustion. Military points for busting forts. Don't really care about idea groups really. Give me all of this stuff. So now that's enough um, overextension. That's all I can really handle. So it's more than 100%, but you know, you gotta live life on the edge sometimes. You gotta go slightly above 100, you know, just self trolling. Don't worry about it. It's a little bit of trolling, intentional trolling, of course. Protect their army. Get some war score from battles. And hopefully we can get to 90% even though they're being sieged by Kara. As well. Seize that back again. Maybe. Oh, kills army. Right. No manpower. Oh, this is my cannons over here. It's only cannons right here. Oh dear. I need my cannons to come over here and not to die on the way. It's really important. That would be embarrassing. I could probably make some more cannons. Soon. 
Do I want white piece? Don't think we want a white piece, we want fill annexation. Where's my cannons? Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, they're they're on here already. Never mind. We're chilling. We're chilling. They're okay. My baby cannons are okay. Baby cannons. Do, 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 do. Okay, these guys can come and deal with. Gosh, the. Seize that down so quickly. Feels like. Hmm. Just seize that back again. Oh my goodness. How are there so many armies over there like seizing stuff down so quickly? Oh no. Oh no. Um, you come all the way back here. Oh my gosh, I've lost my capital and everything. This is a disaster. And there's rebel spawned on my army over here. Okay, well that's horrendous. Oh dear, this is considerable series of bungles. <clears throat> oh gosh. See, imagine if I was playing on speed five right now. Imagine what would be going on right now. I mean, this is speed three. It's you know. And I don't pause that much, so there is that. It's my excuse, at least. Oh dears. Oh dear, oh dears. Don't even have enough trips to siege back my own capital. Alright, just come over here then. Oh no. Hmm. Call for peace. Excuse me. Give me my 90% war score then if you want peace. I'll show you peace. Peace. I'll show you peace, you peace. You piece of peace. Peace. You absolute peace. You want peace? Okay, I'll just be attacked by 23,000. Please. <laughs> Surely I, we hold out in these mountains. Hold the mountains. Okay, run, 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 run over here. Give me more manpower. We need that manpower button. Yesterday. We need that manpower button. Oh dear. I feel like before I started this uh, video, the series was going pretty well, and now, um, now I'm doubting, now I'm doubting, no I think we still easily get the achievement, let's be honest, but as a bit of a setback, it will mean instead of finishing in, you know, 1480, doing until 1490, <laughs> Definitely, you know what it means. Don't worry about it. We'll be chilling. We'll make the greatest comeback of all time. We already have one of those. We could have another one lined up, but he's pretty young. He's not gonna die, surely. He won't die until 14. 80 when we've already finished this human enemy. Not anymore, not at this rate anymore. Maybe it was looking like that. Maybe it was looking like that. But it ain't anymore. If we can get the allies out of the war actually, we'll probably get um to 90% war score. Oh dear. Oh no. How many guys are following me here? Should be an upright. I've got no leader down there. How is still war for Aragon? I thought I like pieced that war out. 
Am I stupid? Steal this army and... Okay, the Wargle seeds. The French... French Wargle. The Frenchers. The French eyes. French fries. Seize them. Rebels. They're my rebels. Deal with these rebels first. They're more important. Oh no. Okay, Genoa. Give me. Hold on, what's my overextension? 100%? Well, that's cool. Genoa, I would like you to give this land to. Crimea. No, because they're. They're March. I can't. I don't know. Could I somehow I like Crimea? Would they even. They would go to Korea, but not to AQ, who's actually islettable. No, 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 no. Or about this other guy. There's no way, right? He doesn't have port. Does he? No. Right, I'll just hold it. My land. Don't worry about it. Crimea is not going to be. Like, I'd have to revoke the march. Turn into vessel, turn into an island, they would hate me or something, I don't know. Could be dicey. Could cause a lot of problems, more problems than the overextension even, so... Just hold on to that war for a moment. Oh man. Maybe we can end all these wars as soon as I finish those sieges with friends. And then I can give away the land to like a vassal or something. Maybe. Could be the play, I suppose. I think that might be the play. It's probably the play. Is that the play? That's the play. Definitely the play. Play, play, play. Have I said the word play enough? I do believe that's the play. Come on, finish these sieges. Come on, dudes. Please. Finish this one. Get me a war score back again. Oh, they're gonna finish another siege down there now. Oh my goodness, friends. Why have you done this to me? <laughs> Why are they so strong? Should they be this strong? I feel like they shouldn't be this strong. I feel like it's not fair. Like, I'm supposed to be the Ottomans, you know? Like, I'm supposed to be being played by Donald Trump and you're supposed to be Joe Biden. It's not fair. Not fair at all. Okay, done with that siege. Got the warriors. Blood up a little bit and get besieged provinces and everything, and then we can peace out. Give them reasons for peace and blockade them. Okay, they're blockaded. Make sure you siege everything. Might let these sieges finish as well. Even just for a little more war score. Okay, that 1000 can join that 1000. Excellent. The optimization. Now, you, ally of Mamluks, get out of my war. And then, you, other ally. Knock you out of the war if we still need to. Being exiled, that's cool. Come being unexiled then. Oh dear. We lost the siege of Salonik. So we lost war score instead of gaining war score in this war. So now I'll just siege down a few more places on. It's really annoying. I could just go back in time five years before this episode. <laughs> Start. Start it again. Drink an extra coffee. Start all over again. Everything would be fine, but no, here we are. Here we are. This is the, the problems that we have created. The zero manpower. We went from 40,000 manpower to zero in this episode. We went from 
in a good position to win all those wars, to winning one of them and then like losing two of them. <laughs> oh dear. Should be fine though. Just make it more challenging, you know? It'll be better later on, you know, once we once we get the achievement we'll be like, wow. Do you remember back then in episode four? Where we like died? Remember that one? And somehow some way we made it back again. It's just like that's how I play golf as well, you know, by the way. I just like slice my seven iron into the forest. And then I come back with the perfect nine iron out of the bushes, out of the mud, out of the gravel, under the trees, right by the hole. And then we put it in for triple bogey and we're happy. <laughs> that is pretty much the summary of how to play golf, by the way. Um, I don't really want to hold all this other land right now. We can make them release Corsica and then we can come back for them later separately. And we can go to war with them again another time and we can hold some money as well. We can finish to know off later on. It's not worth going over 100% overextension. Well, you know, like whatever this is. Whatever over extension we're at just now. 106, you know this. <laughs> That's over 100, but it's not a lot over 100, you know. Okay, we'll be able to make some cannons shortly once we get some. Okay, let's just kill this dude, maybe. He's not that good. You see, I mean, this guy's better. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good, actually. I mean, he was alright, you know, but, you know, with the other options and everything, might as well kill him. Just kill him. Just be done with it. Sometimes murder is the best option. You know what I mean? You know? Am I crazy? <laughs> Don't quote that out of context. Don't send that to the police, you know, but we're just playing a video game, you know, chill bro. Come on, 90% war score, come on. Okay, thank you. <sighs> okay, we finished another war. That's two down. Three down, because we wiped peace to Aragon. Didn't we? Did we? I think we did. And one more war to go, so let me just finish my missions and everything. I need to make Egypt like us to finish the other mission. Um Come on France, just give it up. Please, friends, please. Maybe we just end this. We can end this now. We could end this now. We could end these wars. In theory. I do have a theory that these wars are endable. We take this big vassal down here. Just this big nice vassal right there. and Gascony and then we can feed Gascony back his cores and Toulouse we can hold on to most of the rest down there and we can, I 
we don't take all of Talisa's stuff, we can also ask for that back as well. And we can take another vessel up here who will have a core there, maybe. This guy, Bourbon -y. Has a core, no, they don't have a core here. It's a dolphin guy. This one, oh, that's Bourbon -y. So we take one of those. One of those. How do we get up there, though? We also want, we will definitely want Gascony one. We definitely want Toulouse. We definitely want the Bourbon -y guy. And Dauphin, one Dauphin, or a Dauphin, all right, a Bourbon, a Dauphin, a Toulouse, but what about Gascony? I really want Gascony. If I go here, Gascony. Okay, Belize, Gascony, for sure. Bourbon, Dauphin for sure, Provence, maybe yeah, but we need to, to make sure we get Toulouse, but we did. they have some crossover, so I have to release them in the right order, do they? Wait, maybe they don't, yeah they do, look like Provence, has crossover of Dauphin, make sure we release them separately, and now Provence, and now Toulouse. Right? Yeah. And that is... Less than 100% overextension, maybe? Maybe not. 106%? Oh dear. <clears throat> Maria, how do you feel about this island? And this one here. Do you want those ones? They're pretty good. Pretty good islands. Don't you like them? You like this one? You like this one? You like this one? Yeah. You like this one? You like it? You do like it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Right, we've got a bunch of vessels and everything, and um, we'll have to turn them into islets. Feed them back their cores. Yeah, this one. We can take some vassals. It'd be nice to have those ones from Aragon, but we can get them. And the next war, we'll take those ones. Maybe we shouldn't have pieced out early from Aragon. We could have still been at war with them. No, because we had to. It was like, you know, how are we going to piece out right now? And be done for all these wars, we wouldn't have been able to because we had to hold the land directly. We can't really spassle while at war. That's good enough for me, honestly. That's, that's, um... Wait, hold on. Yeah, that is good enough for me. See you guys next time for the, um... The comeback. We'll definitely do better in the next one.